The message you're about to listen to is a message from Apostle Eric Nyamiche, the chairman of the Church of Pentecost. Apostle Eric Nyamiche preaches the gospel in its simplest form to help the believers walk in Christ and also how the believer relate with his world. This year, the message is on unleashing the church to possess nation. Join us and let's learn from Apostle Eric Nyamiche and be a blessing to the world. If you are new to this page, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell so that when new videos are uploaded, you can have access to it. Make sure you go to our own page and check out for more videos. Thank you. We lie in both word and deed. When we are lying, you may write it or you may speak it. Sometimes you get a proposal well written, but it is full of lies and with an intention to deceive. So we lie both by word and by deeds. So by words, our action, and by what we say. We lie in our actions, and we lie in our words. Now, Judas betrayed Jesus with a kiss. Let's read Luke chapter 22. We'll start from verse 3 and then through to 6, and then we jump to verse 47. Then Satan entered Judas, Luke 22, from verse 3. Then Satan entered Judas, called Iscariot, one of the twelve, one of the apostles. And Judas went to the chief priests and the officers of the temple guard and discussed with them how he might betray Jesus. Now, the most important word there for me is how. He discussed with them the method. So he is going to deceive. He is going to tell a lie. But he is looking at the method to use. So I'm saying that when we are talking about lies, it is not only one method. We lie not just only with our mouth. We all can also lie by our actions and by our deeds. So let's continue reading about this man, Judas. Verse 5 says that they were delighted and agreed to give him money. This is from Luke. He consented and watched for an opportunity to hand Jesus over to them when no crowd was present. So he is trying to devise a how. And then verse 47. The opportune time now came in the Garden of Gethsemane. Let's read from verse 47. Shall we read together? Ready, go. While he was still speaking, a crowd came up, and the man who was called Judas... One of the twelve was leading them. Approach Jesus to kiss him. Now verse 48. Let's listen to Jesus. But Jesus asked him, Judas, are you betraying the Son of Man with a kiss? Now, Matthew says this. Matthew 26, 48 says, Now the betrayer had arranged a signal with them. Now, when he was coming to Gethsemane, he had arranged a signal what he is going to use to actually betray or let them know who Jesus is so they can arrest him. So he arranged a signal with them. The one I kiss is the man. Arrest him. Going at once to Jesus, Judas said, Greetings, Rabbi, and kissed him. Now that is very serious. This man is kissing but in his heart, he's actually stabbing him at the back. And so we lie by words and deeds. Normally when you kiss, it is a sign of love. But this one, he is kissing, but he actually hates the man. And so he is kissing with an intention to deceive. Just imagine, say, Rabbi, teacher, teacher, greetings. And he's going to kiss him, but that is a signal that he has arranged. And so we must all watch our actions and our words. The God out there, he reads our motives. He knows your heart. The human being is so smart. We are all able to stand outside our actions. We will be doing certain things, but you yourself, you are not involved. You are only doing it like Judas. The real intent is to betray, but he is kissing. So he is kissing. You see the human being kissing, but he himself, his heart, it's different. His heart is different. His heart is different. Let me remind you again 
that a lie is a false statement made with deliberate intent to deceive, an intentional untruth, a falsehood. Now, people lie on paper. They tell lies on paper, not with their mouth, over invoicing and under invoicing. We do all these things in our nation, and sometimes all of us are involved, and we think that this will not help us build a glorious church because the glorious church is you. We over invoice, we under invoice. It happens in, in, in companies, it happens in institutions. I pray that the Lord will have mercy on us. So, when you have not used your mouth and you use your pen, it's the same. False receipts. We attach to PVs, false receipt. There was this man who went for a blank receipt, just a sheet from this trader. He went there, asked him, because he's a friend, that give me just a, a blank receipt. So what are you going to do? So do you give me one? Because auditors are coming to audit him. And he knows that he has squandered the money. So he goes for this blank receipt and then fill it, sign it, and then attach it to the PV. So when the auditors went to him and they said, ah, what is this? Uh, they thought that there was something fishy about the transaction. So they picked the receipt and then they trace the institution and then they went to it, and then the man said, you see, this is my name on the paper. It is my receipt, I know. But all that is written on it is not from me. In fact, somebody came here and said he needed a blank receipt. And this signature is not mine. And then he mentioned the name, and they realized that it is a very somebody, that same person. So he went for a blank receipt filled it and attached it. He is not lying with the lips, but he's lying in action. He's lying in action. False claims and false proposals are all lies. False quantities to inflate price. Oh, many people, you ask him, please give me some quantities. And then if he's an electrician, he would do it like that, it is times five. So that when you sit down, you are giving the quantities, it is times five. So you have given him five times what he needs. And then if he sometimes is a Christian and he's working for you, he says that, oh, pastor, you see, uh, I will not take anything. I will just do it for free. But he, he has slid in the quantities. And then he has again lied with his mouth telling the pastor that, you see, I, this is my church. I love my church. I will not take anything. Meanwhile, he has taken five times. That is why we need to control human beings by trying not to assault, but trying to let people bid. Let them bid and bid and bid. And then you see, you can sometimes read between the lines. Human being is smart. Human being is smart. But when you do this, it is called greed. Most times, lies are motivated by greed. Sometimes, it is motivated by fear. Other times, it is motivated by wickedness. Sheer wickedness. And they do that with some intention. But greed is idolatry. 